So democratized metrics was our, our first poster that we put out uh, last year. Uh, you know, it really resonates with the team. Um, you know, we we're really motivated by it. Uh, you know, for us, it's democratizing metrics is about breaking down silos between organizations and, and making metrics more available to end users. Uh, one of the ways we do that uh, at Grafana is by, you know, allowing people to bring in data from lots of different places in, into, into their Grafana instance. Uh, it gives them great uh, insight into what's happening in their environment. Uh, and that data can come from various places, whether it's uh, their infrastructure, uh, their applications, or even their business logic and business units. Um, so as part of the infrastructure, there's lots of different components and, and lots of different areas, uh, and one of those is storage. Uh, so to talk a little bit about uh, uh, how they uh, use Grafana and, and deal with things. Uh, we have Jan here from, from NetApp, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Um, and so I'll pass over to Jan. Hello, everyone. Thank you. We started that project. There's, there's multiple projects we're going to talk about that, are, um, that we're doing with NetApp in um, running Grafana. It's uh, one, of the, uh, one, one of the most, the, the, the project I'm the, I'm the most involved with is called uh, Harvest and ADVA. It's called for uh, Advanced Dashboard uh, Virtual Appliance. And the idea of uh, these products is to collect the metrics from your net, uh, storage infrastructure um, and present them in a meaningful way for different audience. So the idea is that we collect all these metrics. It means a lot. Most people are not able to uh, interpret the data. It's not intuitive. So our role is try to provide uh, meaningful dashboards for the customers so uh, they can understand what the storage infrastructure is doing. So it started as an, as a, as an initiative from uh, Chris Madden out of Netherlands. And, um, he started that project as a Perl script to collect uh, metrics from the, uh, from the storage infrastructure and present that into that kind of dashboards. And that was a free solution. It started like that. And uh, it was the only way for our customers to have really deep dive into the performance metrics for, for, the, for, the, for their storage. Because what the NetApp Spotted product does is present simple metrics. If you're familiar with storage, we're talking about latency, we're talking about IOPS, uh, we're talking about capacity. But sometimes when you're troubleshooting, it's not something that's, that's not good enough. So it's, um, we really, some, for some customers, needed an alternative and an open alternative that we could distribute broadly and, uh, and uh, easily get that to our customers' uh, prem. Um, so obviously, it's usually targeted at power users uh, because with that amount of information, you kind of need to understand what you're reading to make any sense of it, even if we try to make the dashboard meaningful. But that, that's, usually, uh, that's usually that kind of people it's, it's targeted to. And, and it's usually troubleshooting and capacity planning. So either reactive, uh, what's going on with my infrastructure, I'm gonna go on Grafana, I'm gonna look at these dashboards, I'm gonna try to understand what's going on. Or, uh, or uh, before that, I'm gonna try to understand if I have a big workload, for example, to add to my, to my infrastructure, I'm gonna try to understand where is my capacity, where is the performance available in, uh, in, in a given cluster or, or in a given data center. Uh, so like I said, performance monitoring, uh, troubleshooting, and uh, capacity planning. And there's a little icon here that I like now, it's that little bell. And it didn't make any sense before Grafana 4, and I'm, uh, I'm very excited that uh, we're having that alerting feature. It's kind of a little bit of a source of stress for me because the way we provided the, the, the solution to our customers were, was, was kind of, you know, it's not supported by, by NetApp. Uh, it's something that we put in their uh, premise, and it's like, well, you know, if it's not working, it's just monitoring, it's not that bad. That alerting can, is kind of critical. So. Uh, we're going to see how it goes away, but in, any, uh, in a lot of ways, we're, we're very excited with what's going on with uh, Graphite 101 and Graphana 4. So we're going to talk about two different projects, Harvest ADVA that are on the uh, same square here, and OATS, which is a different uh, project in a different team at NetApp, but it's interesting that we had a demonstration of that product, and uh, that's when I, uh, I saw that you know, other people were doing stuff with Graphana at NetApp, so I kind of got in touch with these guys and it's very interesting the model they're uh, adapting for, uh, for, for this. Uh, in a nutshell, Harvest and ADVA, that's community supported, that's not directly supported by NetApp. 
and that's a self-hosted solution. So you put that in your own structure, it's a Perl daemon, or we're gonna talk about that, a uh, virtual appliance. That thing, Oats, Oats is uh, NetApps, will be NetApp supported, it's kind of incubating right now, and it's gonna be, what's interesting about that, it's that it's gonna be integrated with the cloud. So there's gonna be stuff running on-prem at the customer to collect the metrics, pushing that on uh, Amazon instances, and both NetApp support and the customer would have access to this, and that's really kind of a big deal, because when we're talking about troubleshooting, we usually have a little bit of a challenge to uh, look at the same thing at the same time because by nature these things we collect when you when you troubleshooting storage infrastructure are kind of verbose So we collect a lot of data and it's kind of hard sometimes to push these data and analyze these data in an easy uh, in an easy way um, So Harvest is a uh, Perl daemon uh, running and collecting the metrics in a uh, customizable way um, it provides the dashboards. That's the interesting thing about it. It's packaged as a single script. It's kind of easy to install. It's getting the metrics from your NetApp clusters, from your uh, legacy systems, and pushing that uh, into a Graphite uh, time uh, DB. And it's also pushing the dashboards that are provided with Harvest. So when you upgrade Harvest, you're also upgrading the dashboards. Um, and it has customizable templates, so not every customer has, has this, the same needs. Sometimes you need more granular stuff, sometimes you need a broader view of what's going on in your infrastructure, so you can edit the configuration files to suit your, your, your own needs. And that's the kind of dashboard that you get with uh, Harvest. So you get an easy view of your latency, the throughput, the IOPS, you can sort by cluster, volumes, etc. Uh, another sample of the, uh, the kind of dashboard you're getting with the out of the box with Harvest. Th what we uh, noticed when I started working with that, uh, I started working on the packaging with this. Uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of you are familiar with the uh, getting graphite running. It's not always a, an easy piece of cake, uh, but uh, has its own challenges, but it's, uh, you know, it's worth it. It's a great product, but sometimes it's, it's a little bit challenging. So. Uh, I started working on that project, which is called the ADVA, Advanced Dashboard Virtual Appliance. Uh, to, the, the idea was to pro, you know, provide our customers a, you know, an easy to use uh, virtual appliance they could deploy on their uh, vSphere infrastructure so far. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the way it works. So it's an OVA file. Uh, it's based on Debian um, 8.5. And it's an only one package solution. You, once deployed, you go into the uh, web UI, you configure your clusters, uh, and right away you can uh, switch to uh, Grafana uh, and Graphite to take a look at your metrics and get access to the dashboards. So here's a couple of screenshots of how it works. You get a, you get a console UI, you get a, a web UI, and uh, on the uh, lower right hand corner here you can configure your cluster and what we call your OCUM server, which gives you, gives you kind of the, uh, the view of the uh, capacity and uh, not, not the uh, performance metric, but the capacity metrics. Um, that's kind of what it is. Uh, I, I really like to thank the, the, the community because with, if any of these projects would not exist, I would have had a uh, hard time creating this. And uh, that's where open source makes a lot of sense. Um, these individual products were really a key uh, thing in, the, uh, in, the, in that journey. And I, uh, I really, uh, I'd really like to thank the community for, uh, for this, and especially Grafana uh, for uh, inviting me here. If you want more information, there's gonna be a session tomorrow about a deep dive into the ADVA, into Harvest. Uh, some links, Twitter uh, stuff here if you, wanna, uh, if you wanna take a look at that. Harvest is the, uh, the diamond part that collects information. If you wanna run that without the uh, virtual appliance, you have your own infrastructure, you have your own installation, you just want the Perl daemon to collect information from your NetApp infrastructure, you can do that. Uh, if you're familiar with NetApp, it's available on tool chest. And uh, if you want an easy to, easy to use, easy button installed on your infrastructure, on the vSphere infrastructure, you can install the ADVA, and it's available on yvontab.tinsel.org. So thank you for uh, listening, and uh, I don't know who's next, but I leave the meet now. Thank you.